Hi there, Simon from simonwood.com. Uh, three Alberinos in front of me. Are they, are they all Alberino? Uh, Alberino, uh, Alberino, and uh, yeah, Alberino. Uh, so yeah, all Riesch Baixas. Uh, two of them 2013, one of them 2012. Uh, let's just dig in, see where we get to. First one is Condes de Alberai, uh, Alberino, uh, 12%, and um, give it a whirl. Started off quite dumb, and then uh, I got like this floral citrus character come, uh, then emerge. Then I started swirling it a bit more, and uh, you're starting to get the richer, more exotic start side of, of Alberino coming through. Uh, so vanilla, no, been, I don't think this has been anywhere near oak barrel, but it, it's it's in the grapes. Vanilla and this, this peachiness, this nectarine character, uh, and I uh, wouldn't be surprised if I kept swirling and um, more exotic, and maybe some more more of those floral characters uh, came through. Better taste it though. There's a light spritz to it too. Um, uh, to give it some freshness. I think it's fresh enough anyway. And uh, especially at that low, lower alcohol level, um, it, it works very nicely because so there's this, yeah, it's quite rounded, voluptuous is a wrong word, but certainly uh, there's a real juiciness to the flavors. Uh, but then, um, thanks with that little bit of carbon dioxide and also the freshness that was in the grapes in the first place and the lower alcohol. Um, yeah, and rich, but, um, Clean finish. I like that. I do like that. Next one, uh, Terras uh, de Lantano. Again, um, 2013. Uh, we are half a degree higher in alcohol here, so rushing up to 12 and a half percent. Let's give this one a whirl. Now this is um, less on the peachy side and more on. There's a um, slightly. Um, I don't know, I hesitate to call it mineral character because uh, I also notice a little bit of, um, uh, of, uh, of the influence of sulphur here and uh, it's a lot of people confuse the impact of sulphur with uh, minerality. Uh, but what it's doing is it's slightly bringing down uh, the fruit flavours and accentuating more of a, um, a stony soil related character. Uh, in the wine, and uh, yes, yeah, so so you'll, you'll, you it feels like it's going to be uh, not quite as rich and uh, forward as the as the previous one, uh, but um, still got quite a lot to say for itself. And that exotic peachy vanilla edge is in there. Uh, it just feels like um, thanks to that sulphur, it's being slightly suppressed and needs a bit more swirling uh, time to come out of its shell. So maybe it's the uh, uh, the previous ones, the wine too. Um, to drink now and the other one is the one that uh, maybe for six months time or over the next few months um, I um, I like them both and um, yeah I I, I, could, I wouldn't put uh, uh, if, if I was scoring them I wouldn't put too much difference between the two of them uh, final one uh, so this is the one that is 2012 Mayo de Mendoza um, uh, Tres Crianzas uh, I don't know what the three Crianzas in, in particular are here Blah, 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 30, uh, yeah, old vines, 30 year old vines, blah, 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 blah. and so on. Oh, um, for five months on the lees, um, and um, five months in stainless steel tank, and uh, anyway, no, no oak, uh, but um, had a bit more aging, so uh, let's see whether the extra aging has been beneficial or not. And there's certainly a different feel about this compared with the previous two. Um, it's uh, the exotic side is coming more to the fore. So uh, those vanilla and those peach characters are uh, verging into, you know, if you um, chop up pineapple and, uh, uh, and don't eat it straight away, you start getting that ever so slight nail varnish character uh, of the, the pineapple juice. And um, I, I, I get a real strong whack of pineapple juice here. And those rich flavor, those rich characters that I could smell, I get those when you taste them. But again, twelve and a half percent alcohol. Uh, when I when I've um, when I've tasted it, you've got this lovely fresh backbone that's holding it together. Um, I think that the uh, good Alberino um, is. I mean, I, I mean, it's uh, August. No, it's not August. It's October uh, 2014. So the wine's two years old, but there's still freshness and verve about it. It's not like settling into a comfortable mid middle age and getting a little bit of uh, uh, muffin top over rolling over the top of its jeans. There's a bracing character, and uh, I think there's a bracing character about all of them. This mixture of uh, a rich exotic character with this bracing, a bit of acidity, probably a little bit of um, um, the saltiness of the sea air making its presence felt. Certainly I noticed that 
uh, most in 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 this last one. Uh, but all three of them are looking um, looking rather quite nice and uh, there's only one of me tonight so uh, I'm not sure whether I'll be maybe I'll have a little sip of each of them. See you soon.